Hi, I'm Jim Lang. I'd like to talk about what happens after you die with a Roth IRA. After you make your Roth IRA contribution or perhaps conversion, the money grows income tax free for the rest of your life and there's no minimum required distribution. If you then leave it to your spouse, there's no minimum required distribution for your spouse, which means the money can keep growing income tax free for the rest of your life and the rest of your spouse's life with no minimum required distribution. But after you die and leave money to a non-spouse, whether it's a child or a grandchild or a nephew or a friend, that person will have what's called an inherited Roth IRA. And the inherited Roth IRA has its own principles and its own rules. It's not a Roth IRA and they actually must take minimum required distributions of the Roth IRA based on their life expectancy where you didn't. So let's say for discussion's sake that you leave the money to somebody who has a 40 year life expectancy. They will have to take 40 divided by the balance of the account. So basically about two and a half percent times the balance. As they age and their life expectancy goes down, the minimum required distribution of the Roth IRA will go up. On the other hand, they will get many years of income tax free growth which is one of the great reasons to consider a Roth IRA conversion in the first place. I'm Jim Lang. My website is www.rothira-advisor.com. There is a slew of resources there. There are articles. There are newsletters. There is access to my radio show that has some of the top Roth IRA and IRA experts in the country. And it is all free by going to www.rothira-advisor.com.